hi guys biela here welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be doing a simple diy of how to make a clock on a chain or a clock on a rope <laughs> we've been seeing mirrors on a chain mirrors on this rope it looks really nice i'm going to add pictures of what i'm talking about yeah so that's it so i decided to diy a clock on a chain so here is my clock that we're going to be diy and yeah let's get started so the first thing you will need is some tape um your rope or your chain i'm using belts i have this leftover some of my old belts basically so i have about two options but i'm thinking i'm going with this one then um you get your clock i got my clock um from tribal west interior decor we have um the cell clocks so yeah it's part of my what i do in real life so yeah i sell clocks so this is the clock i decided to go with all black with a little black and white monochrome vibes so first thing you do is take your tape and measure the wall i've measured the wall how i want it to hang so that's about 30 inches so i'm going to mark 30 inches so i want it i want it to start from this point so i'm going to put the mark it there at that point then take it all around you need to keep like you need this is where the tape comes in so you tape it down because you can't extend it okay so get some tape out so you tape your measuring tip to the point where you want it to start so this is just a temporary tape we're going to adjust it as we go mm -hmm. along so yes so we're taping it so that you can you know extend your tape because you can't hold two places at the same time so this is 30 i'm using 30 so this is my second point here so it's going to hang like this so I'm looking at it right now and I'm thinking, oh, it's, it's rather short. I mean, the handle is rather short. So I'm thinking of adding like an extra five inches, which is about here. And you can see where we have more extension. Okay, so I think this extension is like better. I think this extension is better for me. You know, so let me see. Let me just add one inches and see. So when you're doing it, just, you know, adjust to see what works because the longer the rope is the finer it will look so i think i'm going with 37 I'm going with 37 so i'm just going to mark that point so here to here so that's basically basically it so now i'm going to take take this out so now i'm going to take my belt and i'm going to measure 37 out of it so from here to right here so this is 37 right here 37 just right here i'm going to cut that out the belt has this thing at the beginning so i'm just going to take it out we don't need that and take it out so this material frays it's the type of um rope ropey material that frays so i'm going to use a lighter though i don't have a lighter so i'm going to use matches just need fire basically so however you can get your fire just to you know burn out the raw edges so it doesn't fray it doesn't fray on your clock so that's it so the next thing we're going to do is glue it on it so i'm going to get my hot glue i plugged it in to get hot so i'm going to get the hot glue one second yes yeah, so this is the hot glue you need it even if you don't have hot glue you can use ordinary like a strong glue maybe evo stick e60 e6000 even you glue but because it's going to be suspended up you need something really strong to hold it so any strong glue will do even if you don't have hot glue so I'm going to take this part, this is the back, I'm going to put the glue all over like so, just put the glue 
I'm putting it a lot so that it will have a lot of you know hold so from the mark that I marked before I'm just going to put it right there and then press it down Ooh, hot glue is really hot that's why it's called hot glue anyway so that's it for this side I'm going to repeat the same process for the other side which is right here so make sure your rope doesn't turn because if it turns you have to rip it out so make sure it's all smooth and well laid out before you glue so i'm going to put some glue here there's some holes here so i'm just going to skip the holes and just put it where the belt is okay so this is the point So I'm going to press it down, make sure it's nice and it's nice and pressed down firmly. I forgot one step. I was supposed to like sandpaper the the clock a little, maybe with like a like a scissor just to scratch it so it becomes rough, a rough surface. I forgot that step. But well, I just hope it stays. But if for some reason after a while it starts to look like it's coming out, I'll take it off, sandpaper it, or just scratch it with scissors and then do it again. But I hope it stays. So that's it. Uh -huh. So you have to press it very well. This side is coming loose a little. Okay. So this is how it, it looks our clock on a chain. So I'm going to hang it up. So you see the final look so i'm just going to add some glue here and there especially here that's coming out so add some glue here and there to make it stronger firmer okay i'm going to get put some glue here mm -hmm. so that's what i'm doing i'm just gluing it down i'm going to do the same thing for the front so it looks nicer and neater that way. Five hundred naira, very affordable. And it's very durable as well. Please subscribe to my channel. Please, please, please subscribe, like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. So yeah, so I secured it more with the glue. So this is how it looks. It looks very, very sturdy and secure now. So let's go and hang up our clock. straight and around your house you know you could make it bigger make it longer and you could also do like if you have the mirror you could put the mirror and then you put the clock so you can have like two mirrors then the clock could be at the center you know you could just play with it that's what decor is all about anyway just play with shapes and all of that so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe Bye.